Ireland is a land that has it all. Incredible scenery with miles of open spaces that are crisscrossed with ancient tracks and remote wild trails. It's a walker's paradise. It's a land of history, folklore and legends that date back thousands of years, the remains of which are still here in the landscape to be seen and experienced by all. From early monastic settlements to remote scholarly islands, from ancient stone circles to pre-Christian communities. It's a land of writers, musicians and poets, from the wild Atlantic way to wild landscapes, from the coastal villages and towns that resonate with music and song to the quiet, peaceful trails in the mountain and lakeside areas. Ireland has it all. I've been spending the last few days walking in County Offaly. After an invigorating trek around the trails of Kennedy, I'm now heading north to a place called Crohan Hill to hear about some interesting history that dates back nearly 2,000 years. It's actually a very short hike, just over a kilometre in total, but it's interesting. This part of Ireland is steeped in old history and the known history here dates back to 175 BC. This is a site of legend and folklore and in 2003, one of Ireland's most fascinating historic discoveries was made when they found a body buried in the bogland near this hill. When it started at the bottom, it looked pretty steep, but it's a very short climb and it's really beginning to open up now as we're getting halfway there. So I can't wait to get to the top and see what the view is from there. Joining me in the final part of this climb is Amanda Pedlo. Amanda is the heritage officer for this area and knows all the stories associated with this part of the world. Well, we're standing here on the slope of Cron Hill, which is rising out from a very flat plain around us. Uh, but it's actually the stump of a very old volcano. Um, about 340 million years ago, what's now Ireland was under the sea, and the volcano came up and formed this mass now. But it, obviously, over the, the last X amount of million years, so much has worn away. And now we're left looking at the stump of the volcano, looking out at the landscape around us with magnificent vistas. And this place has always been valued by the communities around it as an important place. And you can see behind us yeah. here the old graveyard, which was the site of Bishop Macaulay's church. Okay. And Bishop Macaulay is, is associated with Bridget, who became St. Bridget, and with presenting her veil to her here. Wow. So St. Bridget has huge associations with Crohan Hill, as does St. Patrick. And over the other side of the hill is St. Patrick's Well. And that's supposedly where his horse's hoof struck the side of the hill and a well was formed. And that well is, is venerated and very much part of the story of the hill as well. So St. Patrick's Day, a big day here then? St. Patrick's Day is a very significant day of the year here. Thousands of people come up the hill from all directions. It's, it's a huge day, very much so. Over the other side of the hill is where an O'Crohan man was discovered back in the early 2000s. A local man was out working at the edge of the bog and came across human remains. Called the police, they very quickly called the National Museum and a huge research project started about uh, Old Crohan Man, which concluded that he, he was part of a human sacrifice uh, in pre-Christian times. He's now uh, in the National Museum as part of the Bog Bodies exhibition. And I'm all right in thinking he was extremely well preserved incredibly well preserved so much so that the fingerprint unit from the the Gardaí were able to take his fingerprints so they reckon he must have been killed and, and and very quickly put into the bog because apparently you know fingerprints don't last long you know once you're, you're dead so <laughs> they, they, they got an amazing set of wow. fingerprints yes incredible. yeah will we go on up we'll go on up You can feel the, ooh, the last push is a burial mound. And then this here is a new sculpture, but it's replacing a trigonometry station, which was put up in the 1800s. In the 1830s, Ireland was mapped for the first edition Ordnance Survey map. And this is the exact shape of what the original trig station looked like. And from here, they could see all the connecting points so they could read to make the maps from point to point. So that's a huge, big story about how Ireland was mapped. Over the years, it became damaged, and we then decided to replace it with this sculpture. 
which tells the story of the, the four key points of uh, Crown Hill, the volcano, St. Okay. Bridget, St. Patrick, and Crahan Ram. The Grand Canal runs west through County Offaly. Large sections are now a walking and cycle greenway. Today, I'm doing 17 kilometres of this greenway from Ballycommon through Tullamore Town, ending at Rahan. And I'm doing it by bike. Today, I'm going to be cycling. So when I go away, I like to mix it up. Some walking, some hiking and some cycling. And today, I'm going to be doing the Grand Canal Greenway. It's 17 kilometres. I'm going to be on a bike and I'm really looking forward to it. With this glorious weather, I'm going to need sunscreen. I also have some snacks, some water and my phone just in case. Hi, Jerry. Sinead, how are you? Welcome Lovely to Valley Common. You. You're welcome. I have your bike much. here for you. Oh, that's uh, good. There's your helmet. Thank you uh, it switches on here at the back. Okay. It's a, a pedal assist electric, yeah. and you have your controls here then to, for the different strengths of and gears bullet. that you want to cycle. Like a bullet. And away you go then. Brilliant. See you now. Bye bye. Here we go. Bike is a great way to explore this greenway. And if you don't want to do it as a return journey, they will come to you wherever you stop and collect the bike from you. I'm taking the easy option today and getting an electric bike. After all, why make it harder than I need? The Grand Canal Greenway is over 130 kilometers of level towpath, ideal for walkers, runners and cyclists of all ages. I couldn't have picked a more perfect day. I got so lucky with the weather. The sun's shining on my face, the wind is in my back, the scenery is spectacular. You've got the water, the beautiful green fields. It's incredibly tranquil, I have to say. I feel like I'm being hugged by nature from all sides. Now, I'm on an electric bike, but to be honest with you, it's so flat, um, you wouldn't really need an electric bike. It's just a really easy cycle and incredibly pleasant. Morning. Starting at Rings End in the Dublin Docklands, it runs all the way to Shannon Harbour, where it meets the River Shannon. The canal took nearly 100 years to complete, starting in the mid 1700s and finishing close to the mid 1800s. It was used to transport goods across Ireland by barge. Today it's peaceful, quiet and far from industrial. And on a nice day, this straight towpath that goes on for miles is a pleasure to cycle. The towpath runs through Tullamore, famous for its Tullamore whisky. The path takes me past the old distillery that dates back to 1829 and back out into the countryside. This section of the trail has some visible traces of times gone by. As well as the echoes of canal life of the 17 and 1800s, there are traces of life before that. Old buildings, such as Shra Castle, that dates back to 1588, dot the countryside. Today, the canal has been repurposed, recycled, yes, pun intended, and provides for a perfect walking and cycle route. I'm meeting tourism officer, Olive Farrelly, who will join me on a section of the cycle. Hi, Olive, how are you? Hi, Sinead, how are you? I'm great, I've had a lovely cycle so far. So Good. what are we gonna do? So I'm going to take you along the section of the trail. Okay. okay and I'm gonna show the area and what to see and do, and uh, we can talk as we go. Lovely. Great, let's go. Will we head off? Yeah. Okay, brilliant. So well, I've come from Valley Common this morning and um, how long is the full greenway then, end to end? So the Offaly section firstly, she needs is 70 kilometres or so, okay. approximately. And then the, the totality from Grand Canal Dock in Dublin down to Shannon Harbour is 130 kilometres. Okay. Yeah. Wow. All flat, very easy to cycle. Oh, so. I like that, yeah. <laughs> there is plans to hope to connect most of the greenways throughout the country, the Royal Canal, the Grand Canal, from Valley Common actually, you can cycle over to Kilbegan, wow. into Westmead, and eventually you'll be able to cycle onto the, uh, the old rail trail that'll bring you onto Mullingar, back to the Royal Canal. And yeah, so there'll be a lot of, a lot of connectivity um, happening and larger cycles available for people, yeah. I saw a rollerblader earlier, so it's not just the bi bikes and the walking, it's great. <laughs> no. So it's funny as well, you can get on your bike in Dublin, 
Put your bike on the train and come down to the Midlands and go get on the canal here, um, the Greenway, and you can do the linear route and go back on the, on, on the train at night then to Dublin if you wish. That's brilliant. Um, so it is, it's very accessible. You know, you can't really beat it. No, you can't, it's absolutely beautiful. And we've got the most gorgeous day I'm for lucky. our side though, we're very lucky. So we're coming to the end of my journey with you, Sinead. Uh, well, it's been just lovely now. I have had such a brilliant time. Good. Me too. So look, you're going to go this way. OK. And, and I'm heading that way. Oh, well, listen, Olive, thanks so much for all the chat and the information has been brilliant. Yeah, likewise, Sinead. Thanks a million. OK. Safe journey. Right. All the best. See you, Olive. Bye. Thanks. Saying goodbye to Olive, I'm winding my way towards the last section of this route. This part leads to Rahan, again an old historic site, where a monastic settlement once stood. This is about four kilometres long and takes me through some visible traces of old Ireland's engineering past. There's so many interesting things to see along the Greenway. This is a particularly interesting spot. This is actually an aqueduct which goes over the river, which flows beneath it, which is pretty amazing. You've got these beautiful ruins of a castle in the background. And there are just so many of these really interesting things to see all along the Greenway. It's fascinating. The final section leads me to Rahan, where I finish this journey. This is the end of the Greenway for me, but not the actual Greenway. Up here is my mark, 17k. That's enough for today. I've had a great day. Thank you, Jerry, for the electric bike. Loved that. Uh, Olive was great fun to cycle with as well. I've had such a brilliant time. Really enjoyed Kennedy, all the different tracks and trails, met horse riders, bikers. Rachel told me some brilliant history. Cron Hill, absolutely fantastic, steeped in stories. Awfully, I didn't know very much about you, but you have charmed and enchanted me, and I will be back. If you enjoy the show, follow us on social and tell us your story. We'd love to hear about your tracks and trails, especially if it's influenced you in any way. Has it got you out walking? What were the benefits? Your feedback could inspire our next show. <laughs>